Okay, so quick question here on uh, hyperlinking out via pop-ups. Um, and this is something achievable in ArcGIS Online via pop-ups. Uh, you can customize a, a free text field uh, to hyperlink out to all sorts of things. Now, the one thing it's kind of predicated on is if I go in, so I have shipwrecks loaded into my map viewer here. If I go show table, uh, and you can see here down the, uh, the end um, of my table, I, I have a few hyperlinks. So I have image available, and something else I can use, but I also have link to 3D model. Now, what I'm, what I'm about to show you works really well, provided you have full coverage in your data set for URLs that you want to hyperlink out to. Um, so you can see here, link to 3D model. Um, I don't have you know, full coverage of the data set. I have a lot of blank fields if I scroll down. Um, so not everything is going to be able to hyperlink out. So just bear in mind, if you are trying this on your own data sets, it's always best practice because that link is just going to be essentially dead. It's going to link back to your own map viewer uh, if it's pointing to nothing. Um, but just make sure you have full coverage within the URLs. And a quick way to do that then is if I have my shipwrecks highlighted here, I can head over to filter. I can say add expression. And I can say link to 3D model. Uh, and then I can say is not blank. Right? Alternatively, I could say report available, which in this data set, you know, has is. And then it might have, you know, 3D, for instance. And this will return to me all the ones that have a 3D report available, right? Um, so if I click Save here, that'll filter out. So I've done a filtered view, so I know that each one of these has a 3D model within it now. Um, but again, you know, if your data set has full coverage, no need to do a filter, right? But what I'm going to do to enable the hyperlinking out is I'm going to click on Pop-ups now. And you can see here by default I have title and I have text. If I click on text, Click here to add text. Uh, and you can see here I have an option to type, uh, open up your curly brackets to start adding attributes. As soon as I hit uh, open curly brackets, uh, I have a list of all the fields within my attribute table. Okay, so the first thing to do is call the field. As soon as I have that here, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to copy it. Okay, because I'm going to need that in a second. And what I'm going to do is delete it and say link to 3D model or something that's more meaningful, right? If you have an attribute expression that returns Google Street View like we did in lesson one, uh, then you're going to want to call the field that we wrote that into, delete it out, and then make it more meaningful. Second step then is to highlight everything that you just wrote. Click the link text and then paste the uh, field in. Click the little green tick when you're done and click OK. So what that's going to do now is I'm going to have a link to a 3D model and anything that I click on the map, link out the 3D model and because I have um, my hyperlinks I know for sure they actually have 3D models I can go in now and start exploring it. And that goes for anything here. Click link to 3D model. And again, if you didn't have a URL, all that's going to be returned to you is it's going to point you in the right, it's going to point you directly back into your map if you have it. So hopefully that helps. You can hyperlink away in your pop-ups and in your own data now.